we are. Uh, we're calling this Rolling in the Rolls, Confessions of a Real Estate Entrepreneur. And uh, I am Hector Padilla. And uh, with me today is Danny Morell. Yeah. What's up, guys? How are you? And uh, you know what? Instead of me giving you an introduction, so Danny and I actually met back in 0405. Is that right? A long time ago. A long time ago. Long time ago. So we met uh, 2004, 2005. Um, and so today, uh, he's actually very successful. So you know what, Danny? I'll let you give um, uh, give a little introduction of your background, what you do, and uh, where you're going. Yeah, sure. So, guys, my name is Danny Morell. Um, I have a real estate brokerage. I think that's my foundation business. We've got seven offices, um, about 400 agents that that work for the company. Incredible, incredible people. Um, and um, secondly, we buy, remodel, and sell about 100 homes a year. So definitely something else that we do. Um, and you know, right now we are, we're pretty heavy in social media and, and the reason for that is that we're growing our speaking and coaching company. Uh, and that seems to be going pretty well for us right now. So. Excellent. Um, so you know what, everybody's always asking me like uh, keys to my success and how I was able to, um, to pivot. Mm -hmm. um, but before we go on, guys, if you guys can hear us, uh, give us a thumbs up if you guys can hear us or give us a little smiley face or uh, something just so that we know that you guys can hear us and uh, we have a good connection. Um, so here we are today in uh, in Beverly Hills. We're going down uh, Rodeo Drive. And uh, thank you for that thumbs up. Um, so again, people ask me like, you know, how did I become successful? So Danny, let me ask you this. Obviously, you're successful and you're doing very well, but what was that trigger in your life you know, I always say that sometimes there's a trigger where you become disgusted mm -hmm. uh, or maybe ashamed of yourself mm -hmm. for where you are because, like, you know you can do better. Mm -hmm. You know that you deserve better. And, um, you know, if you're married and you got kids, you know your kids and your family deserve better. So take us back to a moment in your life where you just said enough is enough. Yeah, it's kind of crazy you mentioned that. Um, I believe that the level of success that we have in life is is correlated with our standards. You know, what, what, what our standards are and what we expect and not even expect but demand from ourselves. And quite frankly, nothing will change in life until you get frustrated with your current situation. Yep. Uh, borderline upset with your current situation. And I bring that up because there was a moment literally right after the crash of 2008, you know, oh, yeah. that was a real, real tough time for me. Um, and um, if you've read my book, you know what I'm about to tell you, but essentially um, I felt so much guilt because prior to the, ca the, the crash I was doing well, I had a beautiful home, I had a nice pool for my children. And on this particular day, it was like 105 degrees outside. It was hot. <laughs> and I literally, Hector, I was at a point in my life where I, I couldn't afford rent. So I was living with my mom at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and my kids were so hot that day. They were so sweaty that um, uh, the AC broke. Okay. So the AC broke, it's 105 degrees. Not a good situation. Not a good situation at all. <laughs> and on top of all of this, I don't even have a pool to put them in. I, I, don't, I don't have anything to do, nothing in my power to help cool them off. And so what happened to me was um, at the moment we had an ice chest, Okay. right? We had an ice chest in the backyard. Like, a, like a cooler. Like literally a cooler, a cooler. Like, that okay. you take to the park. It was, it was about this big, the boys were little, yeah. and I put them in the ice chest and I filled it with water and I sat there and, you know, it was almost like if that was their little swimming pool, you know? <laughs> so, you know, two things happened. Number one, I realized that kids, man, they don't care. Like, as right. long as they have you, they're happy, you yeah. know? But number two, for me personally, I, I literally, I, I remember to this day, I looked at that moment and I thought to myself... It, it just woke me up, dude. It woke me up. I stopped feeling bad about myself. I stopped being depressed. I stopped being angry at the world. I stopped blaming the government. I stopped blaming the crash. And I accepted full responsibility for what had happened in my life and for the results that I was experiencing in my life. Let me let and, me yeah. uh, let me say right, you, I think you hit a big nail on the head, guys. Sure. I say the two most powerful words you can say is I'm responsible. Wherever you're at in life today whatever your results are, the two most powerful words is I'm responsible 
and then taking action to to pivot and change it sure. and that's what you just said is you were responsible well and you know i'll be honest hector i I think that's where people have the hardest time because I, I, I think people don't like to accept that they have control that's over right. their outcomes. That's right. It's much easier to blame. It's much easier to deflect. It's much easier to point the finger. It's much easier to look outside like, uh, you know what, it's, it's that guy's fault. Or it's, uh, the, you know, the, the government's fault or it's uh, the economy's fault. Right. And, and until we can learn to stop doing that and to finally just go, no, damn it. Hold on a second. Yeah. It's your freaking fault. <laughs> yeah. It's your, it's nobody else's fault but you. Yeah, that's right. It's the way you think. It's the way you wake up. It's your habits. It's the decisions that you made. It's the actions that you take. It's the energy in which you take that action. All of that combined is what is causing you to experience life at the level that you are experiencing, experiencing it. it at. And for that, my, my friend, that, that's very difficult for people to do, you know? So, so something you just said right now, Danny, that I think has been uh, huge for me, and I always call it, I tell people, show me your five to seven daily rituals that you have been doing for the past five to seven years, yeah. and I'll tell you why you are where you are. Right, exactly. So, so let's talk about your daily rituals. Sure. What are, you know, three, five, seven of your daily rituals, daily habits, daily disciplines, whatever you want to call it, but what are, you know, three, five, seven daily rituals that you do every day to get you to be who you are today, the Danny Morell today, yeah. what do you do? Yeah, and, I, and it's funny because I wasn't doing it when I was down and out, so, okay. so you're spot on. I don't know if I have three, five, or seven, but I'll tell you I have certain triggers that if those triggers don't exist in my life, mm -hmm. I feel not like myself, and okay. then I don't produce at the level that I should be producing at. Got it. The first one, I'm up every morning at 4.30. Is it legal to get up that early? It is. It is. All yes. Right. <laughs> yes, it is. There's not a, and you know, people can attest to this if you follow me on Instagram, you know, for the most part, every day, I post a picture at the gym with some sort of a message to remind you, look man, if I'm out here, you can be out here too. That's right. It's, if, you know, it's tough for me. That's right. I know it's gonna be tough for you, but you can make it happen. Okay. You know, so that's number one. Um, number two, um, I make sure to get in the gym and get a workout in. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I probably don't even need to go that early at this point in my life. Right. You know? Um, when I was a salesperson, I needed to be in the office every day by seven o'clock to accomplish my goals. Now, realistically, uh, with the way the business is set up, I, I can still accomplish what I need to accomplish and get in by nine. But there's something about waking up early. It's like mentally you feel like you have a leg on the competition. And mentally, when things get rough, you know that you have paid the price okay. uh, to allow for the success that you want in your life. You know? Okay, so one is 4.30 a.m., the discipline, the, the discipline to do it. Sure. Number two, the discipline to get into the gym. Sure. Right, what else? Number three, and this is a big one, I cook my meals every day. Wow, okay. Every single day. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, I could afford a chef if I want to, I understand all that. There's something for me about getting home, The literally the minute I get home from the gym, it's like a routine. I put my oatmeal to cook, one cup of egg whites, I pour it in with one egg, I do half a cup of oatmeal, I sprinkle my two scoops of protein and my uh, organic almond butter, and I munch that all up, and while I'm eating that, I slap on a chicken breast, and I put that on a bed of spinach, and um, uh, with a quarter cup of white rice, and, I, and I'm just doing my thing, right? Nice, so you are what you eat. You are, and I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. If we would have been having this interview last year, my face was this much bigger. Okay. I was about 15 to 20 pounds heavier nice. and I, I just started to realize like in order for me to become who I wanted to become, like I can't count on anyone else to produce my food for me. Nice. You okay. know, I don't know if you know Hector, my mother passed away from, from cancer and with so many people getting sick nowadays, right. um, my goal and my intention is to live to be a hundred. And so the only way that I'm going to do that is to make sure that I know everything going in my body. Nice. Okay, so up early, hitting the gym, mm -hmm. making your own food. What else do you do? I mean, do you read? Do you listen to audio? While I'm at the gym. Do you, 
yeah. while I'm on the treadmill. If you guys uh, can hear us, uh, uh, give us a thumbs up. And um, if be. you have, uh, yeah, give us some hearts. Give us some thumbs up. You know what's also, a good idea? What, what's, what, where are you listening from? What's your name and what state are you from? If you yeah. can just let us know. And also, if you have a question, you know, right now you got Danny Morell here that can answer your question and I can also answer some questions. So type in some questions and we'll try and get to those real quick. Yeah. So what else, Danny? Um, every single day, you know, while I'm working out, I listen to music. Okay. But, but then when I'm, that's the weights, but then when I'm doing my treadmill, yeah. I'm, I'm reading a book or I'm listening to a book or I'm thinking, or quite honestly, I'm responding on social media. I, I personally respond to everybody okay. to build engagement. Um, and so uh, those are the basic things that I do really, you know, Got it. Um, that, that trigger the rest of the day. And I'd like to say that when that's not present, the rest of the day sucks. But to be honest with you, that's never not present. That's my morning. It's, always, it's every, those are the rituals. Even on Saturday, I just, instead of 4.30, I get up at 5.30 or 6. I just okay. push it back a little bit. Sundays, what I do is I, I push it earlier again to get my mind and my body ready for Monday. So maybe, you know, not at 6.30, maybe at 5.30. And then it, it just keeps me in alignment with what I know I need to do on a daily but basis. But I want to be clear that you are, even at the level that you're at now, okay? So you started off here, you know, you, you've moved up. So you're still reading books. Okay. This is very important. Yes. So, I would just want you guys to consider this, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm saying this to hopefully inspire you and help you understand what's possible. Like literally eight, nine years ago, I couldn't afford my kids' AC. I was living with my mother. Uh, last year, we did 980 millions in total sales. Nice. Um, just shy of a billion dollars. Nice. Uh, we have it. We've gr uh, grown from scratch. Uh, a company that literally did not have a brand name here in Southern California uh, into something that if you if you look in the MLS we're constantly in the top five and what's that uh, in real estate services. absolutely okay. yeah um, great company yeah it's a yeah, beautiful company uh, uh, and I'm, I'm really really proud of what we're doing um, I'm, I'm telling you this because I got in this car and the first thing I asked at Hector Literally, before we started the video, was what are you doing? What's going on? What's working? And then my next question was going to be, how much will you charge me to coach me? <laughs> no, but, but, but listen. Yeah. But but listen, listen, because you said something. You said, as good as what you're doing. You see, I don't think I'm doing good. Okay. That's like and, like 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 in my mind. That, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when yeah. you're when you're hungry for growth. When you're hungry to become your best, That's right. right? You've got to, the same way I could help you in your social media and and in what you're trying to do. You know, I'd love to. I've got the resources to go buy commercial real estate. I I can go pull that trigger, and I'm just a big believer in that. If you come around people that are that have mastered something that you're not mastering, here's what you do: you ask great questions, you shut the hell up, and you find out whatever it costs to have them teach you that. Whereas the normal human being doesn't ask questions, is too busy speaking, they don't want to learn from everybody, and then God forbid the comp the, 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 the topic of conversation comes up of paying for knowledge. Oh. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. we don't, we, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> no, 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 we don't want to do that. No, no. Oh, okay, so I was going to go to another story, but let's go back to what you're saying. So you sure. were saying, so you still read books. I mean, you, dude, yeah, I, I'm I still am, learning. I mean, what, what did I do the moment I got in the car? You were I, I started asking you questions. That's right. Because because I am a hundred percent still learning every single day. You see, I'll explain it to you this way. I am nowhere near the level of success that that I know I am capable of. Right. And I explain it this way to a lot of people. It's like people look at baseball stars, like you know Alex Rodriguez, for example, who who literally in two weeks I, I hired him to come speak at our event. Right. right. Alex Rodriguez, I don't know if you know this, is in charge of 55,000 units. Yep. Did you I know saw that? that? Yeah. It's incredible. Yep. It's incredible. 55,000 units. And I know to the average mind, the average mind sees that and goes, oh, well, yeah, because it's Abraham. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Abraham. That's right. I don't That's think right. like that. Yeah. I don't. I think, son of a gun, if that guy was able to do it, I could do I it too. Do it. That's right. You know, I, I, he may have a, a leg up on me because of that big contract he had, but there's a way. And so when you have that heart and that open of a mind and you realize you are nowhere near done, I mean, I'm 40 years old, I'm gonna live to be 100, I got 60 years ahead of me, 
I'm going to make those damn 60 years more powerful than the average person's 100 years. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and, and you got to be open to growing. So, guys, you know, Danny just shared some of his daily rituals. I'll give you some of mine really quick. So, my daily rituals is, number one, is I put, and I write this down every day so that I can cross them off. But number one is I put Bella. That's the name of my daughter. So, every morning I want to spend some time with her. And in the evenings I want to invest some time with her as well. Okay? To me, it makes no sense to succeed at the office sure. and then come home and fail as a father. Sure. Zero sense. It makes no sense to succeed in your office and come home and fail as a husband. But anyways, all right, so that's number one. Number two is reading. I read every day. Miss a meal, but don't miss your daily reading. Even if it's 15 minutes, you gotta feed this brain. You gotta feed it. Number three is listening to great audio programs. Every day I'm listening to audio. I'm in the shower listening to audio. Driving to the office on audio. Doing my cardio on audio. Every day I'm doing audio. Next, I write down is meditation slash prayer. I got to say my prayers and I got to meditate a little bit again to work on this uh, brain up here. Um, next is I prospect. Now, my level of prospecting now is different. When I was first starting in the business, it was, you know, make 30 contacts a day, do so many door knocks a day. It was a lot more. Now I built a team. So I got a team doing that, but I still do some form of prospecting and some form of lead follow-up. And those are my uh, five to seven daily rituals. Go ahead, Daniel. Can I say something? Absolutely. You know what I found, guys, and this is gonna be big for some of you that are watching. I found that today, because of the internet, yep. people wanna skip that step of prospecting. What, what you guys don't realize, Hector and I are come, cut from the same cloth. And, and, and what I say by that is that when we both got into the business, we were willing to do whatever it took to whatever succeed. Whatever it whatever. takes. 30 people, I'll call them. 40 people, <laughs> I'll call them. 50 people, I'll call them. N nowadays, nowadays, here's the problem. Everyone wants a shortcut, right? You hear Hector built the team. He's been doing this for 20 plus years. Everybody nowadays after two years wants to build a team. You don't have the knowledge. You don't have the leadership. You don't have the systems in place. You don't you, you don't have anything to leverage. And that's why these teams, we're building them nowadays. And they're like, you're building them and people are leaving. Building them and people are leaving. And so, you know. You, you, the leadership's you, not there. Well, yeah, you, you, you because it can't be because right. you haven't taken the time to develop a solid foundation of anything really. Why? Because everybody's so busy trying to get a commission check. If you can think long term, people, think long term. Take your time, guys, and build the solid foundation, I promise you, in 10 years, because I used to tell everybody that was around me back then, mm -hmm. in 10 years, you'll be outperforming everyone that's around you, because everyone as a human being today is wired for one thing, and that is get a check to pay my bills. And the secret to creating wealth, make a lot of money and not need the money. That's the secret. And I'll say something else to that, to what you just said, is you know building a foundation. Mm -hmm. That's a fundamental, guys. You gotta build a foundation to then do the structure. Sure. Okay. Sure. But most, most, of, especially you young cats out there, you guys don't want to take the time to lay the bricks, to lay the foundation. You just want to build the structure. You start building the structure and it collapses. Why? You have no foundation. Yeah. So always listen to time-proven fundamentals. The fundamentals do not change. Here's a mistake I see, uh, Danny. I see a lot of the young cats doing is that they're drowning in data from you know social media okay so they're drowning in data but they're starving for time proven wisdom you guys got to look at the time proven wisdom here's something else i'll say so danny you're right as soon as this guy got in my car he was like hector you know uh, why this car and what are you doing and how are you doing it and he was just like choo, 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 mm -hmm. firing off the questions right um i always say a big a, a huge key to my success was having a uh, time proven coaches and he just said a little while ago that he was thinking you know can he hire me to mentor him um, that's another thing that I've always had is I've always had coaches and I've always had mentors that are proven you got to look at the results who are they how did they do it sure. are they proven Denny would you agree that uh, something another key to your success um, was it having coaches and mentors I've never I don't know how to live my life yeah without having coaches and mentors. Okay. I, 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 and I say that because of how big I want to get. Yeah. 
I'm willing to stop at nothing to get there. And if you think about it, the quickest way to success is to leverage someone else's time, someone else's resources, someone else's energy that they invested, right? Absolutely. And, 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 and think about this now, think about this, and help offset the expense that they took <laughs> by helping to pay them <laughs> for a quarter, for six months, for whatever, right? And yeah. grab all of that information for yourself and then go apply it. It's just, but people don't wanna do this yeah. because of our sick, sick, I, I, I say it's a disease, Yeah. our sick attachment to money. That's it's right. sick, it's, it's so Look, he's talking about attachment sick. to money. If you guys put your hands out like this and you're grasping your money, you're not gonna get anything. But if you guys put your hands out like this, you're gonna be able to create more and earn more. And he's absolutely right. Every time somebody says, hey, will you mentor me? And I'll tell them what I will do and how much I'll charge. They're like, oh no, that's too much money, right? So they're gonna rather struggle for the next 20 to 30 years. Figuring it out on their trying own. Trying to figure it out on their own. Or they're gonna go hire some coach that does not have the experience, that does not have the net worth, and, uh, and they're still not gonna make it happen. Yeah. So you get what you pay for. You get what you invest in. I, I will say something else though. I, yeah. I think you need to be conscious of where you are in life. Mm -hmm. Like like for example, if, if I come to you, you know, if, if people come to me, yeah, I've got different programs set up. Okay. Some for beginners, some for medium, and some for people who wanna who wanna build a leverage business, right? If I come for you, I'm coming for you for one reason, because you know how to buy these buildings and right. I haven't done that yet. Okay. But the, <clears throat> the second thought is this, I've got the capital yeah. to where I can go grab the information you taught me That's and right. I can go put it to work right away and or I can go make a deal right away. You know? he, he can do that. That's definitely an option, right? The other part is, do we JV? Oh, sure. Do I take care of all the details? Do we collaborate and do we start investing together? Yeah. Okay, so Danny, I want to wrap it up. Um, I think I'm having the, fun. Yeah, me too. I don't want to wrap we're it up. We're here on uh, Rodeo <laughs> Drive and I'm looking around. Yeah, this is beautiful. Here, here's something else I'll tell you guys. Okay, so we're on Rodeo Drive right now, rolling in the rolls, confessions of a real estate entrepreneur. And here's another thing you guys want to think about. What traffic are you playing in? Yeah. What traffic are you playing in? What's your environment? If you cross the street here on Rodeo Drive, you're going to get hit by that rolls right there or that Ferrari. Um, or that Range Rover over there, but you're gonna get hit by a nice car. If you're playing in uh, South Central on uh, Crenshaw Boulevard, what car is gonna hit you? What traffic are you playing in? Um, Danny, I think at the end of the day, all of this is about being just like relentless, right? Yeah. Taking the, massive By the way, there's a good question there that came through. I can't even read that, but let me just say this. Yeah, yeah. It's about taking massive skilled action with adjustments. Sure. Massive skilled action with adjustments. Skilled action with adjustments and being that relentless person. And Danny, you have an event coming up and it's actually called... Yeah, Relentless. relentless the name of the event. Right. If, you're, if you're in Southern California, you have to have seen an ad by now. Um, we've got Alex Rodriguez coming. Uh, it's a three-day event. Day one is all about reestablishing and and building a strong mindset to allow you subconsciously and consciously speaking to be able to attract and receive what it is that you truly deserve. Day two is the sales day. Um, and that day is really about teaching you how to step, step up your sales game. Not just, not forget about that question, but go no, on. No, no, I, I, we got you, that. we got you. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Not only, uh, not only how to get sales, but I'm literally gonna teach you how to talk because some of us just don't know how to talk. And, and we here's, don't know here, how to sell. Here's something else with that, with what he just said, knowing how to talk. The number one skill, guys, in my opinion, the number one skill, in my opinion, is self-talk. Sure. How do you talk to yourself? Yeah. Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it, how can I do this? Or is it, I can't do this? Sure. I'll never have a Rolls. I'll never invest in a, in a 15 or $20 million deal. I'll never do this. I'll never do that. Or is it, how can I do it? Sure. Okay, so the number one skill is self-talk. Um, so, Danny, how can they... Well, let's listen to this. Let's get to that question that they asked, yeah. and then uh, let's give them information on how they can get a hold of you. So, what was that question? So, let's see. So, uh, we got. I think we got um, same philosophy. All right, Gus asks Danny and Hector, "What did you do when money was negative and bills were due yesterday? How did you over overcome those times?" I have a good answer you, for that. Go for it, and I'll go. I'll go next. Yeah. Um, first off, if you go on my Instagram account, literally. This morning, Isaac was it this morning? 
that we posted that one? Yeah. I think it was this morning's post that I posted a video on this. But I'll tell you what I did. I, I've always been really, really good at compartmentalizing in my brain the things that I can control and the things that I can't control. So for example, yep. when, when I couldn't pay my bills, I, at the time, couldn't control that. That's right. Because I didn't have the money. Yep. If I had the money, I could control that. I could go grab the money and pay the bills. So I remember vividly, it got things got so bad that I literally just said, look, why don't you just stop worrying about the bills? It is what it is. You can't pay them. Just let them pile up. As a matter of fact, don't even answer the phone. <laughs> don't talk to them because all that's going to do is make you feel worse inside. That's right. And why don't you go man the F up and go get shit done? And that's how I learned to talk to myself. I learned to smack myself in the face. And then I went out there and I told my wife at the time, I said, babe, look, give me 90 days. You're not going to see me. That's For right. 90 days, you're not going to see me. 90 but, day sprint. But I promised her, and this is the key, at the end of the 90 days, We'll be able to afford rent again. We'll be able to pay our bills and I'll have us back on our feet. You see, that's a big, bold statement. So now I got to come through as a man. And I think that's the thing. Number one, we, 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 we're too focused on the negative. Number two, we, we don't talk to ourselves in real talk, right? Uh, number three, we don't make bold predictions and bold promises. So number four, you stay stuck. You stay stuck. Yeah, now, Danny, you know, we have so much to share. Uh, I'll tell you guys something. I flew, I had an invitation to go meet a billionaire for breakfast. This is back in, uh, God, what was this, 07, 07, right before the recession. And um, with what you just said, he said, Hector, you want the millionaire lesson? And I said, absolutely. He's like, have your goals, okay? He's like, you want the billionaire lesson? I said, definitely want the billionaire lesson. He said, the billionaire lesson is um, have pocket promises. When you promise your wife, your daughter, your family, someone that you love that you're gonna take care of business, you have a 90% chance of accomplishing that as long as you have a plan, an action plan on how you're gonna accomplish that pocket promise. Mm -hmm. You will do, a lot of the times, Danny, sure. we'll do more for other people like you did for your boys, sure, sure, right? Sure, now sure, they sure. got a pool, sure. like he did for his wife. Right. So make yourself a pocket promise. Now, my answer to you, um, was that Gus that yeah. asked that question? Gus, um, to me, I call it turning shit to sugar, turning dust to diamonds, is you got to get out there and work. Make the contacts. You guys don't want to get on the phone and make the calls. Go out there and meet people in person, what I call belly to belly, blood, flesh, soul. Let them feel your good energy. Ask them, how can I help you? Collaborate with them, okay? That's what I call turning dust to diamonds. Go that extra mile. Go ahead. To be honest with you, Gus, to be perfectly honest with you with any of you which I appreciate them watching yeah but it's 1130 right now you shouldn't be watching this <laughs> yeah. well 11 15 right 11 whatever 15 yeah. you shouldn't be yeah. watching this yeah you should be on the damn phones that's it's, right it's what you, you and, and and that's that's the difference like don't get me wrong I appreciate we appreciate, we appreciate you watching absolutely but when you're in that mode if you're in that you're situation, in that situation Turn the damn phone off. Pedal to the metal. Pedal, buddy. To, the Pedal metal. to the metal. Get the hell out of here. Go talk to people because you don't have the right to watch the video. You want to watch the damn video? Go earn the right to go watch the video. That's NRM. my recommendation. NRM, non refundable minutes. All right, Danny, we got to run. So, um, how can they get a hold of you so they can learn more about Relentless? Biggest way, go right now to Instagram, look up Danny Morell, go click follow. A lot of free information and content there every single day. The events, go get your tickets, Relentless Event. Dot com. Um, guys, if you guys want to get a hold of me, you want to follow me, follow me on Instagram, my chairman HP, my chairman HP. You can also visit my website, mychairman.net, mychairman.net. Danny, it's been a That's pleasure. Awesome Thank you so you, much, friend. man. Yeah, Good to see you awesome again. To see you too. Great guy. Uh, follow him, and as I always say, and make it a great day.